I'm Miko Halili and welcome to The Score where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. Uh, the PBA has seen a lot of great players since Asia's first pay-for-play league opened in 1974. The PBA court has also become the stage for some of Asia's greatest point guards and today we'll try to name the top three point guards to have ever played in the PBA and we brought in the guys to, that will answer this question. Bringing in legends, the trigger man, Alan K. Dick, and the winningest coach in the PBA, Coach Tim Cole. Guys, welcome. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Let's, be here. let's get to it. Top, your top three all-time PBA point guards, and I think great minds think alike, because uh, the first name that came out of your list, pareho kayo, no? That's Johnny A, Coach Alan. Why was Johnny A on your list? Well, when he entered the PBA, uh, he, you know, he elevated the word point guard. He's a complete package. You, he can uh, rebound. He can uh, dish out assists, tapos uh, scoring-wise. And if you remember it right, before he was being considered by an NBA scout to play in the NBA, that's how valuable Johnny is. Yung impact niya sa league create a lot of ano eh, uh, noise. Well, we went to, uh, what, eight straight finals appearances? Mm -hmm. And 11 out of 12 conferences, we were in the finals. And Johnny was that leader. And uh, Johnny was really the MVP of that group. And he was the most unstoppable player. Plus, he's what? He's the smallest guy ever to win an Seven. MVP. Yeah. And uh, they won the Grand Slam. And, and I think that the thing that was really remarkable for me is that nobody, and I mean nobody, wanted to bring the ball up against Johnny. Johnny was so quick, had such quick hands. I mean, everybody was scared. I mean, all the really other good point guards didn't want to face Johnny bringing up the ball. And uh, aside from all the scoring and assisting that you talked about, and by the way, I was there in that hotel room when that scout was trying to uh, recruit Johnny. I know. So I know it's a, it's, a, it's a real, factual, strong story. And, and I remember growing up in the 90s, when you would copy a point guard, it was about bringing down the ball, yeah. you know, doing the transition pull-up, J. But with Johnny A, he was so hard to copy as a point <laughs> guard. Really, really hard. And that, that speaks a lot about his skill level and, as Coach Allen said, the way he elevated the game. Let me just add one more thing. He, he, he retired me from basketball, by the way. Well, what do you mean he retired I mean, from basketball? As a player. How? Because I used to be, I used to practice <laughs> with the team when I was younger. I yeah. used to go in, I used to do one on one before the game? No, no. During practice, uh, during like we have, I mean, we'd be lacking players, so I would join. We'd do uh, a, like a, a, a transition drill. And one time I was doing a transition, I was on defense, and Johnny was bringing the ball, and he did, he did a shake, and I went, I, and I <laughs> fell flat on my butt. I just fell flat down, and the, the whole team just died laughing. And I said, I'm never going to play again. And that was it. I never played again. <laughs> Maybe you should have played with this other greatest point guard on, the, on your list, both on your list. One of my all-time favorites, the director, Hector Calma. Well, before Johnny came into the league, I considered this guy as the number one point yeah. guard. I think everybody did. Yeah. That. He's a very smart and finesse player. And that's the qualities of a good point guard, diba? Right? And at the same time, uh, he makes his teammates look better. Parang it's very smooth. Yung, yung uh, attacking niya, he directs and orchestrates the flow of the game smoothly. The director. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was a guy, if you put the ball in his hands in the middle of the floor in transition, you were going to score 100% of the time. He would always make the right decision. Elmer Reyes on Ryan's side, Samboy Lim on the other, but he would give the ball right in stride and be able to score every time. And uh, uh, he was amazing. I entered the league the year... I started coaching the year that San Miguel won the Grand Slam 1989. in 19, 1989, and uh, and Hector was the guy. I mean, he was really the guy. So, uh, and ironically, my his son and my son became best friends, and we're still up to now our best best of friends. Andres, comma, yeah. and my son Kevin. So he's quite the driver, by the way. Andres, yes, yes, yes. quite quite, yeah. uh, quite the car driver. Uh, okay, so Johnny A, Hector Calma. Ito medyo mag mag iba na kayong dalawa sa list. Uh, Coach Tim, I'll, I'll start with you. I just want to say his he's Daya. 
So go wait, ahead. wait, see, wait, see, Diane. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Wait, see, wait, see, wait, you wait, picked see. up two guys that were medjo point guards. And I, if I had known that we were allowed to love medjo point guards, <laughs> then I would have, I would have selected these guys also. Uh, okay, 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 coach. Steve. I'm jahed not to select. Yeah, them. okay. No. <laughs> Number three on your all-time point guard list, who is it? Well, for me, I put Jason Castro. Yeah. And, I mean, he's been, you know, this, this last generation of players, uh, he's been the, the, the head of the Gilas team. Uh, he's put it back on the map uh, internationally. Uh, around Asia, he's, you know, been the, considered the best point guard in Asia. Uh, you know, he, he is the new breed of point guards that goes down and scores. Um, he put the ball in his hands. He's going to create for himself as well as his teammates and he's probably a better scorer than he is passer although right now in the later part of his career he is doing more passing I think he just had his lap first triple double yeah. a few weeks ago but uh, you know he's that uh, um, James Harden type of point guard that can get to the basket anytime he wants and wherever he wants on the floor okay and then so as I said medyo mag iba kay sa listahan you're number three so medyo modern yung kay coach team Ikaw, ito, classic. old school, classic, OG choice for a point guard. Who is it, Coach Allen? Actually, it's a tie between Jaworski See, and Coach Sonny Jaworski. You already <laughs> die already. <laughs> you, three, you made four. And Daya. Ricky Brown. It's hard to choose. There's so many great point guards yeah, in the it PBA. Is. It really is. And plus the fact that during the first generation, there's no called, there's no so-called point guards. Yeah. Eh. They're just considered guards. Guards, yeah. And it's hard to not put Coach Sunny in my list because growing up, I idolized him. Yeah. Eh. Kaya because of his charisma, his leadership, and his passion for the game. And with Ricky Brown, he's a very explosive point guard or guard. And, and I think, he, if I'm not mistaken, he's the first and only guard that was selected in the Mythical Five during his first year, in his rookie year. Yeah, he so, was he was spectacular and yeah. and he was he was along the lines of a Jason Castro in terms of just being able to to score anytime he wanted and he had the most beautiful jump shot and it was just like lights out all the time and he got good height on it uh, he was really really special he was something we hadn't seen prior to that through the Mika years into the early PBA years I hadn't seen a talent like him before but Jaworski I think of all the point guards he would translate really well to today's game because the point guards have gotten bigger there's more like point yes. forwards you know he's big and strong for his position so but I still think you're you're a diet <laughs> I just uh, I just noticed something coach Allen coach team you're wearing a Hinebra shirt you are coaching Hinebra you did not put the big J on your list I know list. that's what I'm saying uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I almost put Francis are nice on but I wasn't thinking of Sonny as being a uh, uh, a point guard, that's why. <laughs> you know why? Because, because Coach Sunny is more than a point guard. Yes. He was everywhere. more than a guard. He, he was positionless. He was legend. coach, center, forward, yeah. guard. That's, that's what, what I mean by and today's game. Is, yeah. It's really about being playing positionless yeah. basketball. It's getting more and more like that. And, uh, I mean, you see the point guards in the NBA right now. They're like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, you know, and in multiple people bringing the ball down. So there's no real point guards anymore. And that's the, what he was, Robert Jaworski. Yeah, so you owe me. I saved you. No, I, saved I, you. <laughs> I, I basically you, me. you need to disqualify. <laughs> you give me one of your championship trophies because I saved you today. All right, we're not yet done. That ang sarap ko usap ni Coach Allen and Coach Tim when we return. We shift our attention to the NBA, where a couple of teams made bold moves in free agency. Allen K. Dick and Coach Tim Cohn will talk about that when the score returns. <laughs> We'll be